Ever since I was little, I loved water, and as I grew up, I fell in love with waterfalls. I loved the sound, the rushing water, the refreshing feeling. I loved it all. I guess this project really just let me show how much I actually loved water. This project has been stressful, to say the least. It's been a lot of pressure, but I did it. I guess I should introduce myself. My name's Marla Fisher. I'm from Nova Scotia, Canada. I'm 16 years old and I'm an inventor. That feels really weird to say. I invented a waterfall that could charge a phone. But then it became something so much bigger than that. My journey started when I was in grade 10. I was in this class called Exploring Technology and I learned a lot about myself in that class. Like, I was really good at technology, specifically editing in robots. My favorite robot was named Fredbird, or Fred. And I remember joking to my teacher one day and saying, we should attach a GoPro to Fredbird as when we were in school. He just kind of went, wow. We ended up sending Fred around the school, got him to open up the elevator, steal a pair of keys, all with a GoPro on it. Don't worry, we returned the keys. My point is, I had a lot of fun. At the end of the year, my teacher asked me to participate in a pilot IB technology program, which means he wanted to bring a new IB course to the school and he wanted me to test drive it. Originally, six people were asked, two accepted, and I was one of them. I was already intimidated by the course. I was in academics and I was going into an IB course where you had to invent something. The first day I remember, the other girl in the class looked at me and said, I'm doing a water filtration system. I remember thinking, I was just gonna fix up the printer in the back. She's gonna change the lives of many, and all I'm gonna do is give the school the ability to 3D print in two colors. I need to step up my game. Pretty sure I told her I didn't know what I was gonna do. The class was supposed to take 150 hours, but we only had 80, so we had to pick and choose what we were gonna do. And unfortunately, I never finished building Lucothea Felisama. Talking with my teacher, and telling him about my concept, we made it into something bigger than I could ever imagine. It went from a waterfall that could charge a phone to a waterfall that could power the school. I named the concept Leucothea after the Greek goddess who saved sailors in distress. The size I was working on was called Belisama. It was named after the cult-like goddess of rivers, waters, and fires. She was known for being quite small, but very powerful and very beautiful. The the biggest problems I faced were my own stupidity. People who believed in me or didn't believe in me. Wiring, because I suck at wiring and I electrocuted myself multiple times. And time. I had a lot less time than I thought I did. It's May 19th and I think there's like less than four weeks until exam. I'm a smart person and I know that, but I make a lot of silly mistakes, a lot. And it's been somewhat of a setback. Somewhat. Day 24, March 14th, 2019. Happy Pi Day. Did work on Tinkercad, my 3D modeling software. Realized that my motor and water pump was wrong and had to find new ones. Found new ones. Took new measurements. Switched measurements from inches to centimeters. Thanks Tinkercad, my 3D modeling software because structure was way off. Realized instead of converting from inches to centimeter, I accidentally converted from feet to centimeters. I struggled a lot with believing in myself. I'm smart and I know that, but over the years I've had a lot of negative comments directed towards my intelligence. And no matter how strong-willed you think you are, that many comments it can and it will tear you down. They'll make you so insecure about literally anything and everything. So I sometimes doubted myself. I almost always doubted myself. But I had people who believed in me. I knew that. My close friends and my youth group helped me a lot. The kids at my youth group, the youth leaders, and the youth pastors helped me. Sometimes just by being there. Other times they give me helpful advice, like entering into the national science fair. They were also just really excited for me. They were always asking about updates for Leucothea. My brother didn't believe in me at all. 
He told me to my face that my gears would break and I wouldn't be able to power anything. Coming from someone who went to the international weight competition twice, which is a competition for underwater robotics. It was certainly an interesting thought to put in my head. But so what if it didn't work this year? I'm 16, I'm inventing and building this thing by myself. I had no big company behind me to back me up, help me out, to fund me. I had no outside help. I was doing this alone. There was nothing like Leucotia that I could go off of for wiring or circuiting or structure help. Leucotia was its own thing. It was original. It was, there was nothing like it. So maybe it didn't work. Maybe the gears will break and I won't be able to produce enough electricity to power anything. Maybe. But I won't let that stop me. I'm going to try my best to get this to, to work. Part of my motivation comes from proving him wrong. The other part comes from proving to myself that I can do this. There's of course a lot of stress that came with this. I surprisingly handled it really well. I never really felt overpowered by it. But there was 34 pages of paperwork to do and I still hadn't finished it with four weeks left. I spent anywhere from 22.5 hours to 27 hours 3D modeling my structure, 11.25 hours circuiting, and who knows how long on paperwork. I could go the extra step and mass produce Lakothia. I could buy a factory, start producing it, get marketing, sell it. I could make a job out of something I invented when I was 16. But I don't know. I kind of want to stay like I am. Traveling, going on mission trips, having fun at youth group. Having fun with my friends, being the wild card, I am the free spirit that my parents call me. At least until I have to deal with college stuff. Maybe after I'm done college, I'll do something more about it. But who knows where the future is going to take me. Mm -hmm.